What's going on guys? Teenage iPod Dude here, and today is a very exciting day. If you are a fan of Apple or the iPhone or just Apple in general, because today they had their iPhone conference and and unveiled the iPhone 4S, not the iPhone 5, but the iPhone 4S. Now, we're going to be talking about all the announcements they made today and just go in over the details of the new phones and iPods. So, if we can go over to Apple's website here, and I am on the iPhone 4S page and one of the things they're really pushing for this is Siri and that's their voice uh, command kind of system so you can say like text so and so and it will text that person or like call Ryan and it will call Ryan it will have voice recognition or you can ask it a question and like or like search for the Beatles and it will like pull up the Beatles songs or that's at least my understanding of it and it's gonna have a dual A5 chip so very fast their latest generation chip that which is in the iPad 2 is coming all over to the iPhone 4S and there's an all new camera it's 1080p videos uh, it's 8 megapixels so pretty good quality pictures guys and it they're calling it the best iPhone camera yet which it probably is we will be testing that when I pick one up and that's pretty much all the changes they made it's the same design it's black or white and they actually changed the death grip so there is no death grip they claim at least and it will be shipping with I iOS 5 on the device and it comes in white and black which I already said and the final big announcement with the iPhone is that it's going to be on Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint, so you can actually get the iPhone 4S on Sprint. Now, that's really cool. I am not going to get it because I have Verizon, but uh, I'm sure a lot of Sprint customers are very happy. And the last thing, guys, is you can pre-order the iPhone 4S on October 7th, and uh, let's just check the calendar here. October 7th is this Friday, so you can pre-order it on Friday the 7th, and they're shipping the next Friday, the 14th. So you can go pick one up on the 14th or pre-order one on the 7th. Next, we are going to move on to the iPods that they announced. And that's the final announcements they made, I believe, uh, for at least the major ones. And the iPod Touch, it's really, it's starting at $199. And so, yeah, it's starting at 200 bucks. Uh, not many changes. Like, the only big change is that there's no camera changes, no design changes, there's no graphics changes or processor. They didn't even put the A5 chip in, which, that's... I really wish they did more with the iPod Touch. Pretty much the only thing they did with the iPod Touch is make a white colorway, which that's pretty cool, but... Still, it's just kind of stupid how they didn't do much with it. So, and the next iPod that they changed was the iPod Nano. Now, they dropped the price of the iPod Nano because it used to be 150 I believe, and now it's only 130 It starts at 129 So, um, no design changes, no nothing. The only thing they did was actually make the icons bigger, so it's uh, more easy to use now everything's still the same and they added more clock designs so uh, I guess that is pretty cool but you know couldn't really change much I still wish that they would have a click wheel iPod but I guess not and finally um, they didn't mention anything about the iPod shuffle or the iPod classic um, and but they're not discontinued anymore because they are still on Apple's website but expect for like within the next year I bet that those two iPods will be disc discontinued so that's pretty much it for me guys um, tell me in the comments what you think about these announcements I sure am gonna pick up an iPhone for us are you going to are you kinda of disappointed that it's not redesigned if it's not called the iPhone 5 were you looking forward to a redesign um, are you disappointed with the iPhone 5 are you st stoked about it? Like, are you going to get one? And tell me what you think about them n not doing many changes to the iPods. So, 
that's it for the Apple announcements. Um, and before I go, also in your comment, include what you think about Siri, because that's actually pretty cool. So, as for me, guys, this has always been Teenage iPod Dude, and I will see you guys in the next video.